everybody's heard the term nice guys finish last. We've heard that so many times, and, and in regard to certain situations, it could be true, but not necessarily. I feel like I feel like uh, changing the narrative just in regard to what, what the good guy, what the good guy is, you know. Uh, media tends to turn it has as for years has always been about you know the bad boy being more fun the bad boy being more cool and all of that and the truth of the matter is it's all about what it is that you're looking for like if you're looking for you know somebody that's exciting but potentially might not necessarily be good for you then that's probably what you're gonna find you know um, it's, it's kind of about stepping outside of your comfort zone you know the dude that's for you might be the cat that you completely overlook behind something that really don't mean nothing. Like, all right, he got a job, but he ain't got the job that you want. He ain't got as much money as you like, so you ain't gonna give him a shot. Whereas that dude can mess around and be the love of your life. It ain't about. It ain't so much about what, how much a person has. It's about how much a person has. If that makes any sense, you know what I mean. That's that's what it's about. So in the realm of looking for somebody to be with on a large scale, like you know, like on some forever. You probably should pay attention to more than just how nice his beard is, or if he got a six pack, or if he driving a Mercedes Benz. To to me, I feel like I feel like us as men, we have to get back to that place where we remember that uh, respect is is a staple. You know what I'm saying? It's not it's not something that it's not something that you. Uh, decide whether or not you're going to give it somebody at least that's the way that i was raised you give respect up front and then you give that person the opportunity to keep or lose that respect that you've given them and um i feel like in regard to women in general uh it should absolutely be staple you know what i mean i, I feel like we, we're in this place now where we just don't really know how to how to properly interact with women how to how to you know how to interact with women to where they feel to where they feel not only equal but but you know, respected and appreciated. Like we've we've forgotten how to do that for for whatever reason. So I feel like it's it's time for us to you know to go back in our minds to you know wherever it was or whenever it was that we remember what it was to be chivalrous, what it was to to be to be polite, just to do right by somebody, and and uh, just just re-energize that because because it's, it's it's rare and it's lacking nowadays and it's needed. It's mandatory. It's necessary. You know, in order for us to get to whatever the next level of this humanity is, we got to remember that it's about doing right by people first. And and what, by peop when I say people, I mean men and women, like just period, point blank, people, period. Um, In regard to finance and things of that nature, I'm a little bit old school, you know. So in, in my house, or in reference to me, my lady pays for nothing if, I, if, if I'm around. You know, if I'm around and I can get it, I'm going to get it. Now, that's not to say that she shouldn't be in a position of where she could take care of herself if she needed to. You know, that's what I meant when I said Miss Independent. I didn't mean be so independent that you run a man off. I meant, you know, be independent to where you don't need a man. You want a man. Of course you want a man. And and you need a man, but you don't need a man financially. That's what I meant by Miss Independent. You know, y'all y'all might have missed the mark a little bit with that one. Um I just want I just want uh men and women to get to that place where where the expectation is secondary to just feeling the realness of the situation you know if you with a woman who got a thing together and she can afford to take care of herself then take pride in that you know take pride in that don't don't uh don't feel don't feel less of a man behind that but then on the other side of it don't take advantage of that either you know what i'm saying okay yeah she got it but that don't mean that Okay, y'all going out to dinner and now she's supposed to be reaching for her purse. That ain't how that's supposed to go. At least at least in my thing. Again, this is one man's opinion. In my opinion, I feel like if you're in a relationship with a young lady and you have it to take care of, you're supposed to do that. That's 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 one of your roles. Um, but I won't say that that's ironclad, you know, we can do it how you can do it however it is you want to do it. But for me, I feel like that's the way it's supposed to be done. Um, but on the other side of the same card, I do know, I do see that it's women out there doing their thing and making their moves and being able to take care of themselves, and that's a beautiful thing. So I feel like in regard to relationship, it shouldn't so much be about that. It shouldn't so much be, the concern shouldn't be so much about who can take care of what <clears throat> as far as financially. It should be who can take care of what as far as emotionally and, and spiritually. That's what it's supposed to be about. All right, all right. So brand new album in stores Friday. That's June 8th. It's entitled Good Man. Uh, the album is basically about what it is to be a good man, what it is to go from, you know, what we start out as and, and to get to that place where, 
you know, you're doing right by that one person. You're actually, you know, giving a damn about somebody other than yourself. Um, yeah, comes out for comes out Friday. Really, really excited about it. We got three three singles out, out so far. So we got Good Man, the song Good Man. We got Apology. We got Summertime, and we got Pushback uh, featuring BB Rex and Stefan Don. So make sure you check for those. Also, we got World of Dance Season 2. We are back on TV. That's NBC. Make sure y'all check for that. Um, yeah, man. We got a whole lot of stuff going on right now. A lot of stuff. Yeah.